Here I am back on the hatorette again. I've just replaced that piece there because the old one was really loose. So, and I've had to add the bit with the stop on it because this isn't going to have the handle stop, brake stop. It's got to be the old fashioned way because the handles won't allow it to be any different to the way it was meant to be. So, I've done that. I shall. This car run okay, but I shall put a serviced carb on it, so that's all been that that'll all be good. I shall sharpen the blade. I've decided to go with the single blade, just leave the single blade on it rather than go back with a disc. And the only other thing I've really got to do is give it a clean because the engine's pretty oily. It's in a bag upside down for about two months, so it's covered in oil. That's why when I started up first I didn't show you that but it smoked quite a lot because it had just been tipped upside down but it runs well, it's a good engine so I'll just show you this bit over here, the recall bit which is really oily I've just got to see that where the rivets are I've drilled one out I've got to do that to turn the, the recall around so I can pull it from the back of the mower because for some reason when these were made the engines went back to front so the plug was that end rather than that end. It's the only way it will fit on so it's only got three holes so that's how it's got to be. But I thought the wheel bearings of the front were, were worn out but they weren't. It's just down in, I don't know if you can see very well but there's a bolt down there and that tightens everything up so I've tightened both of them up and they're nice and tight now. Hardly any play on them at all. I shan't paint anything up on this mower or anything like I said before because I think it just should stay how it is really because it's an old mower. I've fitted the carb now and I've done the recoil. You see the screws, well, they're actually bolts uh, fitted in there. All starts up and runs okay. It still had the shake on it, I noticed. I thought I'd corrected that and I've gone back with the disc now. I checked the crank and checked the blades and everything was fine so it wasn't bent at all so I thought I'd try the disc back on it seemed a bit better with that on because I had since straightened it so um, it's all sort of back together now I put a new rope in the recoil as well you can see just got to tie the knot in that properly and that's nearly all done I've connected the throttle as you see there so all I have to do now is um, give it a clean, I'll give it a pressure wash down underneath. I, I haven't put the air, air filter in yet. I wanted to make sure I didn't smoke or throw any um, oil back into the carb area. Because, like I said, it had been tipped upside down the engine for quite a while. And I've got, um, if you look right here, I've got some clean filters. So I'll put one of them in it. And I'm nearly there with that one. Also, I've sharpened the blades. I haven't put them on yet. You can see I've sharpened them. There, I've done. Just did them with the. Yeah, I'm going to get new nuts for them. Nuts and washers. They're the nylon lock nuts, so I'll get them because they're blades. I'll make sure they're new on there. The blades were in quite good condition, really. They weren't worn or any nicks out at all. But I thought I'd just give them a quick sharpen, and they should be okay. So they can go back on the disc now. So at least the mower will be, will be original now, apart from slightly more modern engine, which does start well. One or two pulls and it's away, so I'm getting there. Hi, I'm back on the Haterette again. I've nearly, nearly done it now. I've fitted three blades on. You can see there, nice and sharp. I wasn't sure which way they went, but I'm sure I'm correct there because this doesn't have to shoot out the back, it just shoots it back into the ground because there's no collector on this so I pulled the engine over and that's a rotation so must be how it goes like that this is how I, what I did, I just because the old see we a bit better light because the old nuts were pretty rusted up and the nylon had worn out you know for blade safety I just bought some new nuts and some new washers. The blades were good and the bolts are okay so I just replaced them, it's the cheapest way really. 
because the whole blade and bolt set is about 20 odd pounds. I didn't really want to spend that on it. These it cost me about a pound. So I've nearly got it all fitted on now, so we're nearly there. Oh, yeah, there's the other blade there, what I haven't done yet. But you can see the bolt sort of just sits in there like that. And they just sort of semi spin. So I'll get that put on and then this one will nearly be done. So there it is, all the blades are on there now. All fit, all sharp, so that side of it is done. I think all I have to do to this now is um an oil change. A filter there isn't a filter in it at the moment, it needs a clean one put in. It's, may have a new plug in it, I don't know, but I'll do that if it needs to be done. And then we're about done with this. It's to clean up and we're finished. go the heater it is done bar a clean up the blades all on sharp dropped a bit of oil when I tilted it over so it's just burning that off but it's starting to run okay so that one is done now the other thing that's a little bit annoying is that when I do that it's off there it's also off there so it just has to be sort of in the middle range but it's all okay really an old mower so you can't expect too much but there we are we've done that now so hope you enjoyed this video of the haterette and we're all finished now so thanks for watching